Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, please do consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell. Today I have a great book subscription for you that speaks to both my love of reading as well as my love of travel. It is called The Wordy Traveler. Now if you feel like you just saw me unbox this, it is because I did. I I actually sort of jumped on at the very very end of the winter season so I was able to unbox the box that was kind of dedicated to the Scandinavian region and then this one is the spring box and I'm so excited to open it for you now just to let you know this is the backpacker edition so it is the smaller edition that only has one book and then some items that are kind of evocative of whatever region they have chosen there is also what they call the full suitcase now the full suitcase is a hundred and nine dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping the backpacking edition is only forty nine ninety nine plus shipping it's about seven fifty in shipping if I recall and this is just a seasonal box so while those prices sound kind of high if you spread that out over every three months then it's not so bad and I think they might still be having their sale I believe the code that you can use to get 25% off either subscription is stay K so double check in their social media to make sure that that is still valid but if it is, that's a great deal. That's what I used to get my subscription. So let's get right into it. First of all, I do love their little elephant emblem. I think it is super duper cute. And then we're gonna see where we're going for this season. So inside there is a little sheet of paper and then we've just got some kind of like gray lavender tissue paper and a little bear sticker. So it's funny that they did a bear after they did the uh, elephant on the top and then some very small font. So let me just read this real quick. It says, I am writing this letter from my home. It is a surreal experience to be back running the Wordy Traveler from my home. It has given me time to reflect on this past couple of years and the amazing community that has sprung up around the Wordy Traveler. First, I want to let you know that myself and everyone at the Wordy Traveler is sending lots of love and light to you and your family. I hope that you are safe and well. Second, I want to let you know how much we appreciate you being a part of the Wordy Traveler community. Your subscription is helping so many small business owners, artists, and contributors who are a vital part of each journey. I called one of our small business suppliers with our monthly order and they literally gushed how thankful they were for our subscribers because it is allowing them to keep their doors open during this time. We also want to thank you on behalf of the various charities your subscription goes to help. We may not be able to travel, but we can still help the people and locations that depend on tourism, very important. I am excited to announce that we have partnered with Vitamin Angel and each box we send means years worth of nutrition for two children so I love boxes with a cause that makes me feel so much better about subscribing and giving myself that little bit of a treat and like I have said in several of my videos remember that a lot of these subscription companies are small businesses that could use your support only of course if you have the means and the ability to but I know that there are so many small businesses that then contribute to the items that are in these boxes that could really use that extra bit of income right now so I didn't read the rest of the letter because it is kind of lengthy, but I am very happy to tell you that it looks like this quarter is the first quarter that is dedicated to the U.S. and it is featuring the National Park System, which I think is awesome. In fact, I think this is National Park Week. Um, the National Parks are an amazing resource and I think one of the great things about this quarantine situation is that so many people are really enjoying the outdoors when they can get to it. The National Parks are still open and so a lot of people are kind of learning to appreciate what's right there in their own backyard if you are lucky enough to live close to a national park and just enjoying being outdoors right because when we have something that we took for granted taken away from us then we enjoy that fresh air that beauty nature so much more so I am very excited to see that they are featuring the national park system so let's open it up and inside now they always include a tea to go with whatever region and it looks like this tea is from the same company that did the tea for the winter's box the first thing I'm seeing on top is a little uh, sticker. It just says Expedition Climbing. Now this is something that would be kind of cute like on your water bottle. I don't do any climbing. I'm not a rock climber. I try to be a little bit more of a hiker and be a little bit more outdoorsy. But um, again, I'm more of a day hiker than a like multi-day 
hike kind of person let me know in the comments below if you are like a really avid camper or hiker or climber what's your outdoor activity of choice now the tea that we got is wild mountain berry which actually sounds awesome um, I think it would probably make a really really nice uh, cold tea as well iced tea wild mountain berry it is black tea from sri lanka blackberry leaves cornflower and mallow petals and natural flavors so i'm excited to give that a try very excited so that's cool and then this was in the last one too it's a bright sellers 45 dollar uh gift card but you do i think have to spend like a hundred dollars or actually subscribe for their monthly monthly shipments so i haven't gotten to that point where i'm doing that quite yet and then i'm seeing a little uh carabiner with a compass on it so this is definitely inspiring me to get outdoors but this would be a nice easy thing to kind of clip onto your backpack or fanny pack whatever you have i know a lot of us rely on our phone our phones but it is nice to have some of these tools available to you when you don't have your phone or say you lose your battery um, so good thing to have easy thing to clip onto something now I am seeing this fun little fanny pack it is kind of a lightweight material I do appreciate that it is just a plain black I have a really nice fanny pack that I got from REI that I really love even though it's like pink and pastel and it doesn't seem like a style that I would like so no pockets on the inside it's pretty flimsy material you can kind of even see through the light but this is definitely a packable item it would be good to have as just a little like day pack if you are doing a quick walk around the block um, I use fanny packs when I do do walks around the block kind of listening to my podcast so again it's a nice little kind of disposable almost one even though I know this is probably a box that's all about being sustainable I probably won't use this but it because it is so neutral it is something that I could definitely pass on to someone else or if you just have a friend over and then you decide to go for a walk and they don't have a day pack this is something that you could always have on hand to give to them so that's kind of fun I do kind of wish it had something more to do with the national parks because there is actually a lot of national park merch that's really fun um, let's keep going they do always include a charm. So the charm that we got for the winter box was a little snowflake. And this time it looks like it comes in this little mesh bag. It looks like it comes with a tree charm. Now I did say this in my first unboxing. I do wish that they gave us a way to sort of collect and feature the charms like a cord or a little bracelet, something that would allow us to kind of collect them. But I do like that idea of adding a charm to each box so there is the little tree charm. That's a kind of cute one that you could definitely put on something. Um, you could probably just get a plain chain to add it to, but that's like some of those things that take so much effort and so little effort at the same time. Now I've got something else here in this little brown box that's kind of rattling around. So let's see what this is. It looks like a very pretty uh, gold bookmark. Um, I'm not sure what plant this is supposed to be, but this is really pretty. I'm trying to get it to focus, but it's just catching the light so much, you guys. But look how pretty that little delicate bookmark is. I do appreciate that. It's kind of a fun little like gift box as well. So let's look at the book that we did get for this season. And it is a book that I have actually read before already, A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson. And I do love that this cover has that little bear kind of peeking up over the edge but let's just read it says the Appalachian Trail stretches from Georgia to Maine and covers some of the most breathtaking terrain in America if you're going to go on a hike it's probably the place to go and Bill Bryson is surely the most entertaining guide you'll find here's the history and ecology of the trail and some of the other hardy or just foolhardy folks Bryson meets along the way and a couple of bears already a classic a walk in the woods will make you long for the great outdoors or at least a comfortable chair to sit and read in so fun thing to do i haven't done any hiking in appalachia uh, the closest i've gotten is getting the appalachian mercantile subscription box if you've had any experience hiking in that region or that trail please do let me know in the comments below always excited to hear about your experiences we are very lucky here in california to have so many hiking trails we can't really access all of them at the moment but it is definitely getting me anxious to get back outdoors especially now that the weather is getting so much nicer so fun little book to have I'll probably pass this on to someone because I do think I already have a copy of this great classic by Bill Bryson but let me know have you read this before did you think it was fun do you remember the little encounters with the bears let's keep seeing what else we have in this little box 
This is a great little um, hiking thing. So this is a little, little refillable bag. Now we have a couple of these. We did do a multi-day hike uh, last year in May. We went to have a soup pie. And so we did get some of these refillable water bottles and we actually got a filter too so that we could actually pull water from the river and filter it. So it looks like it just opens. It's got a nice like little carabiner claps on there as well so that you can um, put it on the outside of your bag but these are so great because then when they're empty they're not taking up a ton of space it's just got this screw top so this is very much like a camping and hiking kind of box it kind of reminds me of um, Glamperous or the Happy Glamper or even Nomadic or one of those more um, technical hiking camping kind of boxes although I will say the the quality on these two is not like the best this is not like the kind of stuff that you would get from REI but definitely good intro pieces if you're just getting into hiking if that's what the book inspires you to do and they also as well as the tea that they always include they always include an art print and this one looks like it's from Antelope Canyon which is a place that I have had the pleasure of visiting it is a really pretty picture it's kind of funny because you never really know which way it's facing so this is probably in the canyon looking up Antelope Canyon is a great place it is run by uh, Native Americans so you do have to go on a guided tour and obviously those are closed right now because you would be in very close quarters in these slot canyons gorgeous image I have noticed that with these images they don't necessarily tell you where it is or the photographer so I do wish that that was included um, it's just because I'm guessing that that is Antelope Canyon because that's what is the most famous version of a slot canyon that I have seen um, but let me know what you guys think I do think the art prints are pretty eventually I'll probably do something with them I appreciate that they do come matted so all you have to do is stick it in a frame you could always alternate um, or you could just have it on your desk when you are reading whatever book they have sent to you if you've gotten the wordy traveler and you've gotten the spring edition let me know if you get the full suitcase what some of the other books are that you received and other than that you guys I do hope that you have a fantastic day and to see you very very soon in my next unboxing I will be announcing a subscriber appreciation giveaway very soon probably even later today so definitely check that out and I'll see you soon bye